Hey everyone, it's Austin and welcome back to the channel. It's day 304 on my journey to 2000 where I'll be uploading every day until I make it there. So I appreciate all of your support as always and make sure to check out feeandkettleclub.com for some chess inspired streetwear. All right, let's play. Uh, last time we played, we had four losses and a win. And we're going to forgive ourselves for that because... Uh, you know, that's life, baby. Can't just sit there and be pissed off. It's okay to lose. It's all part of the journey. And, uh, I know that overall we're improving. We're learning so much more about tactics and openings and even end games. Interesting. Let's castle and then we play uh, knight here. Okay, so I think a4 is a must here. I need to play slower in the opening, so that's why I'm catching myself. a4, you can't play b5 because takes, takes, takes. a4, what does he play? Knight here. Um... This is pretty similar to the game that we had yesterday where we got a good position out of the opening and then just kind of fumbled it later to poor calculation. So I think a4 is good to start to prevent him from uh, reinforcing this pawn. There's also this queen check, which no matter what, we win the pawn back. And that is mildly enticing. Check, he can actually play this, and I'm completely bugging out of my mind. So I think it's uh, a4. Okay, so now he does this. Now I think let's take. Yep. And now I think the move is actually knight here to grab this pawn back. If he goes here, I just got to be careful like that one time that he ended up getting a knight here that trapped my rook, but now my knight is already out, so at least the rook has some lateral movement. Um, So that's what he does again now, but I think now we have knight e5 attacking this, or pressuring this pawn, hitting this pawn another time, and that feels pretty good. Definitely feels really good. If he does this, he hangs the rook. Um, I'm not entirely sure what he does here. Don't see another good way for him to defend that pawn. He might try to go here, but then I think I just go here. Could I, I might consider taking as well. I think taking could get my get me into some pretty big trouble though. Yeah, I think I should just go here. But I mean like what is my rook actually doing there? Do you know what I'm saying? So what if I just go here, takes, and then here? Knight d5, e4. Yeah, I'm just not loving it. I think that this is the move, and now I'm going to go here to hit the pawn. And if he goes here, uh, here I think I am going to give up the bishop for the pawn. I could always just go here instead, though. Hitting this pawn. Okay. 
Okay, so. Now we're hitting that pawn in the corner twice. Hmm. I think I should probably just come back, to be honest. Because right now this bishop just has no squares. Maybe I'll just develop my last piece first. Because this bishop doesn't have many squares either. So maybe I can go here and then go here. And this is threatening a cool little discovery. If he goes here, I might just let him take. Like we learned in the other game. I can always do this too. This is where it gets complicated, right? Here takes takes, then what does he play? His bishop is stuck. You can go here. In which case, my knight is still defended. I can just go here. Then he can bring his... Yeah, that's not great. Here, knight takes. That doesn't look good either, because then he's taking my light squared bishop. See, I just never know what to do in this situation. The other game really threw me off. Just letting him take there seems crazy. But at the same time, if I take, he's getting his light squared bishop out. If I do like anything, he's getting his light squared bishop out. I'm going to go with my gut and play this move. Because I'm already down um, three minutes on the clock. It's just tough when you're playing a, a position that matters so little about material and more about peace activity. It's hard when you don't have much experience in those positions, understanding what kind of dynamics are good for you and what kind of dynamics aren't good for you, if that makes sense. Here, I could go here. Centralizing my rooks seems really good. Here, if here we just go here. And that would actually be a big problem for him. So here, I don't think that he can do that. He can't come back. If he goes here... If he goes there, maybe we can consider... No, that walks into an attack by him. Maybe we could consider this move. His only safe squares are these two, or this one, and then I could go here. <laughs> um, okay. I think that I think that this is the move, because I think my rook served its purpose here, and I need to give up on that idea, and I just spent another minute. <laughs> but... Um... You know, if I if I lose on time, I just have to be okay with that. Like I said in the other video, man, it's it's new openings. 
It's things that I don't yet understand that I'm trying to understand. He might just take my knight, but then I think that this is going to be pretty exciting for me. What if I just go here? That seems pretty, pretty good. attack this he's not going to be able to defend it technically so i just have to be careful how i play this now i'll be up a pawn so he wants to trade a pair of rooks so rook takes rook takes rook takes a6 Rook c4. Um, doesn't seem great for me. I think it would be better to try to limit his counterplay, probably. Limit his peace activity. Let's go here. Okay, well now I don't feel like I have a choice. Interesting. I think we should probably just take that, to be honest. And this feels pretty okay for us at best, honestly. This pawn is extremely weak. His pawns are very healthy. He's already got me on the defensive. Very strong player here. I'm not exactly sure where I went wrong. To be honest. But let's just go here. And let's, uh, basically, let's just wait. Right now, everything in my position is defended. Okay, now it's not. I guess I should have went here, huh? This is pretty bad.
uh, just that one weakness that I chose to make that mirrored the other game lost me the game. How about that? It's all good. All right, good game to my opponent. Yeah, so I had a lot of good chances. Um, just taking right away was best because that prevents uh, B4 by itself. Here I'm already plus one. This is a great move, best move. Um, wow. Taking. I mean, who would... Th this is so hard for me, man. Knight D3 is just a discovered attack. It's like you analyze these games and it's just all so different. This is plus one. What did I do wrong? I needed to bring my king. Now it's equal. And then, um, yeah, this is just a mistake. Here, here. But I mean, rook g2 and... I mean, I, I just couldn't have lost that pawn, but all right, let's play another one. I'm happy with how I played in that game. It, it's just, it's just the nature of these positions that I'm getting that I don't fully understand them. Okay. So let's, um, set up and... This is very clearly something that he is used to. So I wonder if I should just do this. Or if I should try to castle first. I'm gonna go with trying to castle first. Right. If I didn't know any better, I would say that his intentions are pretty clear. What do you guys think? Oh my god. This is pretty scary, huh? Let's sack a pawn. Try to sack a pawn. He doesn't let me. I feel like I could probably sack here. To be honest. If I go here, where does he go? Here? He's playing so fast, it's making me want to play fast, which is never good. It is never good for me. If I go here, where does he go? Back. Then I go here, he pushes. Then I go here. He's trying to crash through on this side of the board, I feel like. What is Kiwi Chess? It's my YouTube channel. Um, let's go here.
I'm gonna say, yeah, man. Your fast, aggressive play is scaring me. I wonder if it would have been better to play this first and then that. Just then you'd be sacking a pawn though, so. So if I go here, he pushes and then wins the game because the whole position closes down. And we know that. So with that in mind, let's go here and open it up. At least try to. This should help some of my pieces come to life, I think. Monk Zen Chess. It's a cool, it's a cool username. This is definitely the move, Tempo and the Queen. He's asking where I'm from in the US. Seems like a really nice guy. I love playing against people like this. So this check seems like automatic because it forces his king to move. No, it doesn't. I'm stupid. Um, maybe we can consider this move. He's from Arizona. Very nice. Very nice. Arizona is a cool place, man. Now he's got all of his pieces developed, and I am kind of out of threats to make. To be honest. Wow. And he sees that I'm out of uh, threats to make. So he's just proceeding with his plan.
He's from Washington originally, which is cool. He's probably calculating sacrificing. <laughs> At least I would be if I was him. But he doesn't have a lot of pieces over there right now. He has a lot of his pieces held up defending himself. I wonder if this is a move. I guess not. But he might still be having a mating attack on the other side of the board, so it's not so simple. Can't believe I missed night blocks. Pretty pretty bad move to miss, but it's all good, man. This is a kind of an interesting game. I'm trying to defend while attacked simultaneously. He, like, doesn't have any pawn breaks anymore. If he goes here to try to enable this move, I go here, he pushes, I take this. And then... I feel like I'm kind of off to the races, to be honest. Okay, so technically I can just take this. And I guess his move is this. His idea is this. Do I have time to play this? I don't think that I do, man. That's pretty scary. What if I take here, then he pushes there? Take, push. Then what? Knight here. Push again. Here, queen takes. This is crazy. I think the move is to take with the pawn, to be honest. Because the bishop still defends this. I need to find some sort of sacrifice here, to be honest. I'm sure that there has to be something at some point here soon. Here, here, defends a bunch of things. Push again here. Queen takes that. I think I need to continue with my plan now. And go here. And if he takes, then I'm... If he takes, then I'm just gonna go here. Gotta break through somehow here. Maybe even this is stronger, to be honest.
I think this is way stronger. This is an idea now. Okay. Oh, can he sack now? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, he's going for it. Only move is to take. Ooh, I don't think that that was right, though. I don't think that that was right. Um, let's prove, let's prove to him why it wasn't right. Let's find a good move here. Check. Which check is better, this check? This check. Because if he goes here... It's still the same problem. Um, okay. I have to think fast here. Check here. Check. Here, he's got too many things defending, man. What other checks do I have? I have this check and this check, right? Take first. I don't think that's any good. Um, let's go here. Please go here. Come on, man. You're supposed to play, uh, you're supposed to play the wrong move. I'm up a lot of material here. For the time being. I'll be up a pawn or two after he finishes smoking me. Okay, that's actually not threatening anything. Um, so... What's the right move here? I have no time, I have no time. Probably just move the knight to safety, right? Go here and here. Because this is hanging. I just don't have enough time to convert this position, I think. He's probably going to end up winning on time. But I think I defended pretty well. Um, I'm definitely winning over the board right now, I think. Maybe not, I don't know. King there. Um, I just don't have enough time. Wait, what? Uh-oh. How long has that been hanging? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh man, this sucks. I wish I had more time here. Um, let's go here. Shit, 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 shit. Let's take this.
Yeah, this sucks, man. This sucks pretty bad. Oh, this is mate. No, it's not. King here. Move, move. My time, man. He won on time. Wow. Yeah, that sucks, man. This is a blunder. I mean, whatever. He had a brilliant move. Fair enough. I mean, who cares, man? It was all it was all down to the time. Like that sucks, dude. Yeah, GG, man. That sucks. All right, well, I'm gonna start actually trying to reinforce that when I lose a game twice, lose two games in a row that I need to stop this video. I'm going to keep playing because that's my plan for today is to play chess, but I'm going to end this video here. Take a, take a breather. Um, let's analyze a little bit more closely. Night a four. D5, E5, Knight E8. This is just so stupid. Why would you play Knight E8? Your Knight literally has no squares. Yeah, I was about to say. Knight delete move. I think E5 is a very normal move to play. G5 is another option, but I'm still going to play Knight D7. Yeah, whatever. This is what happens. Um, this is a mistake because you should have just pushed. It's saying I should have went here, but I saw f5 and g6 coming. E takes f is the best move here. Now h5. Um, and this pawn is hanging, but he doesn't take it. Why? No, this now he's just getting too greedy, I guess. This is hanging in the corner. So now I'm giving him a pretty big advantage by doing this, but I saw this is a reasonable way to add pressure. This is a miss. Should have just taken with the rook, but after this, what do you do? Just take this and say, who cares? D takes and then what this? No, it still wants the other knight to take. So now we're going to have two pieces hanging in the center of the board. Rook c2. I mean, why wouldn't you put pressure on the knight? Because you can't? Like, I don't get it. b4. Sacking a pawn. Sacking this. Sacking everything. Like, this is just too deep for me, bro. Like, I can't find that with three minutes on my clock. <laughs> you know what I mean?
Um, so taking was better, apparently. And then after this, then we play rook f1. Oh, rook f1 check would have been very nice. Okay. How disappointing, man. Knight of three check now. Probably king here, to be honest. King c2. Moving towards the edge of the board is also very reasonable. Okay, now it's saying that this is better. This makes sense as being better. Yeah, now king g7. Because you don't want to give up. The pawn. Bishop d2. I mean, you could take that and recapture if you wanted next, then this. So you probably have to take... No, this is still the best move. I guess we have to play this now. Oh, the bishop still covers that square. I'm bugging. So yeah, now it's a draw. Now I'm only slightly better. He makes a big mistake here. And now I needed to just go here, apparently. As if that's where my focus is currently. This move would have been a lot better. Here, check. I don't understand why this is better for me. Because knight blocks. If you go here, then probably this check. Nope, I'm just completely wrong. Might do one check here. Now this check. Nope, still no. Queen B1 check. Here. Rook F5. Whatever, dude. At this point, I have less than 10 seconds. I almost got him, too. Yeah. I was never going to win on time, though. That was really strong player there. All right, guys. Well, if you made it this far in the video, it's getting pretty discouraging to continue losing, but um, obviously I'm going to keep going with it. I know that I'm playing well, so it's all good. You know, I think that I really put some pressure on my opponent that game. I don't even remember the first game. Like, what the hell happened the first game? Oh, yeah, this one. Same thing. I had a really good position. And then I let it go in the end game. Here. So, like, why is this so much better? Because takes, takes... And that's hanging now, okay. So b4, and now my pawns are split. Takes on a6. Say rook here. Takes, takes here, and we're completely winning. So that's very simple. But the way that I did it, even here I was thinking about takes, 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 but then it's the same problem. And that's, it's only 0.5. So this was the best move. But here, just play this. But I didn't see a way to defend the pawn. You don't. You just have an active king. Go here. Okay, takes. Takes. And we're just headed right for a draw. That's not what I want. <laughs> I don't want a draw. The, oh, it makes so much sense to leave the pawn there, because that way when I take this pawn, it defends this. Okay, that makes so much sense. King f8. Okay, any move. Alright guys, I'm, I'm just gonna call it there. Thank you guys, I appreciate it as always. I'll see you tomorrow.